Hi guys, welcome to Nate's Art Lab and um, palette knives. I guess that's something that I can talk about, but also not because it's a very personal thing. Um, I prefer palette knives that are round and curvy because that just fits with what I do and who I am and how I look. I will show you my favorite one. It's this guy. And I told you I cannot see which number it is. I got it from Fluid Art Co. And you will um, recognize it because it's a chubby one. It's short and wide in the back and it has no corners. And that's what I like about it because I do curvy stuff and um, edges like these would just disturb my move. It's not that they're bad. It's just, like I said, a personal thing. So I painted a painting for you today. It's somewhere there. And it's um, a hide and reveal swipe that I will teach at the Fluid Art Experience together with Nate, who is doing his two classes as a guest artist. I think it's a great addition to any swiping class. Okay, let me show you what I painted. Okay, I started as always with my pillow paint. This canvas is a 24 by 24, and that is also the reason why I don't go with my favorite palette knife. I go with a slightly bigger one, and it's this guy. Once I have applied my pillow paint and uh, spoiler it's way too much and you see me later on scrape a bunch of it into a container so I can reuse it again and it doesn't get too dirty opposed to having it drip on my table first and then save it. My paints that I use are Southern Ocean Blue by Matisse a TLP pigment called Mermaid. I will use another TLP, which is Abalone. It's a blue gold baby blue shift and super beautiful. I use a teal and I forgot the brand, but um, it only can be either Golden, Matisse or Schminke. I don't have any other. Wait, I have Amsterdam. Never mind, I forgot the brand. Sorry. And just to break it up, because I use blues so much, I'm using this fluorescent magenta by Nova Color. And I will cover the whole thing up with my black faux pillow, which is just mixed exactly like all my other colors. Only difference is I will put a squirt of liquid acrylic in it to make it blacker. -er. More black.
So on my slightly bigger palette knife, I put a black cell activator and then a white cell activator. I flip my palette knife over and there you can see how I hold it. I don't go flat on top of my paint. I also lift it up, dig deep, dig not so deep. The variation you can achieve with the palette knife in combination with this technique is just incredible. If I wouldn't use this technique but uh, let's say negative space, I I, I couldn't go as deep because in here there's a lot of paint on my canvas. Alright, here I use a palette knife to just pop some bubbles and coming with that technique again, the bubbles are kind of my issue and you will also see in the dried results, but let's talk about that later. Okay, here I'm saving my excess pillow paint. That's a thing you can totally do. Um, put too much on, but then scrape a bunch off and reuse it later. There's not really a harm in this. Okay, I'll put you on some music and I will see you in the end.
Okay guys, what do you think? Um, well, it wasn't a video of mine if I wouldn't point out the things that I didn't like. Um, I will get you closer for that. Give me a sec. It's not bad, guys. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's dark. I knew that in the beginning. I still have negative space, which I love. Loving the colors. I'm loving the shimmer, seeing that teal part. I'm not quite sure if I can really capture that. But here's my issue. It's the bubbles and the bubbles are sometimes better, sometimes worse. It's not super bad from far away, but when you come closer, there's a lot of white speckles and usually that is because I had air bubbles in my paint. In this one I'm pretty sure it was either in my pillow paint or in one of the lower layers because if the black had bubbles in it it would pop and then the color underneath would show kind of like here. Those were bubbles popped early on and then they expanded with the composition. Thank you guys for having me on the show. Thanks for supporting Nate. Thanks for supporting any artist. It means the world to us. It's mind blowing and awesome. So thank you. Go Niners. See ya.